Hi everyone, Tom here, and I got mail, specifically a Mendel Max 3 printer kit from Makers Toolworks. So this is a printer I received for review purposes, and it is a kit, so of course I still get to assemble it. So in this video, I'm first going to do a quick unboxing, and I'm then going to have a time lapse of the full build. So let's get to it. Um, since I got a dual extruder kit, the first thing I unpacked was the dual extruder add-on, which is another E3D V6 hot end, the motor, extruder, all that kind of jazz that you need for the second extruder. Uh, you can also get that as an add-on later on if you got the single extruder version first and then want to expand to the second extruder. Um, the rest of the unboxing is the all regular single extruder kit. Starting with five stepper motors, these are actually Makers Toolworks branded steppers, which is kind of cool. Um, then there is the regular E3D V6. This is just the same thing that I've just opened um, the V6 as you to get it from E3D. Uh, the extruder printed parts, wires, that kind of stuff. Um, then there's a smaller package of laser cut and powder coated parts. Um, a rather large bag of miscellaneous, it's called the miscellaneous bags, wires, doodads, all that kind of little tiny stuff. Um, and um, this is this is actually something that kind of stood out to me. Um, many of the kit manufacturers decide to go with no name of brand parts, but uh, Makers Toolworks actually included a genuine Ultimachine Rambo. That is a controller that I kind of really like and I actually reviewed a cheaper copy of that, a link to which should pop up on your screen somewhere right now. Then there is another electronics box which is mostly occupied by these LED strips that go into the bottom and top of the printer. It's kind of weird how they put this together. This is a tiny Arduino plus a buck module shrink wrapped onto a metal plate um, which is connected to the controller via I squared C and then I don't know how it works exactly. Um, but it controls the LEDs, basically. Next box is the power supply. This is a pretty large 24 volt supply, um, which is okay. It's not a genuine mean well supply, um, but one of the Chinese clones. I've never had a problem with those. It looks pretty good. So yeah, it's gonna work probably. Uh, next up, a bag of tools. These are little hex wrenches, uh, actually German brand name ones, Vera. This is pretty top-notch stuff right there. Up next, a big bag full of open builds wheels. These are the polycarbonate ultra durable wheels. Uh, the entire Mendel Max 3 is actually built around those wheels and I think that's a pretty good choice. Um, the part I just took out was the Y-axis. Uh, this next part is the aluminum bed heat spreader thing. That is going to be the base to which the heated bed is going to be attached. Next up are some more laser cut parts plus the open builds rails that are going to be used for the y-axis. Then there are some printed parts. Those go on the extruder assembly on the x-axis. Uh, next up, the heated bed. This is a captain heated bed with genuine 3M sticky tape on the back. And I haven't actually seen all that many of those Captain heaters yet. Um, let's see how that works out. Next up, a big heavy bag of fasteners, screws, washers, nuts, uh, T-nuts. Seriously, there are a lot of fasteners in this printer. Next up is this styrofoam packaging job of the glass plate for the bed, for the heated bed. Um, I'm not sure if this is borrowed silicate glass or just regular window glass, but Either one is fine. I haven't had any trouble with using regular window glass for a very long time. And, you know, I'm pretty surprised to see this arriving in one piece. This was shipped with FedEx uh, in a 3D, sorry, 3-day express air freight shipping service um, all the way to Germany. And, you know, the box did look pretty beat up. So good job there on the packaging, Make It Tool Works. The next big thing in this box are all the open builds profiles. These are all black anodized T-slot profiles. Um, they work just like regular 2020 T-slot, but they are made specifically for the open builds wheels um, so that they can ride in the slots. In the meantime, I unpacked some more of the laser cut and powder coated parts as well as some plastic laser cut parts. 
The powder coating on all these parts looks pretty even, nice, sturdy, smooth. Well, it's got somewhat of that powder coating texture, but it looks really, really nice. So that's about it for the unboxing. I think I got everything out of the box. Uh, the rest of this video is going to be the time lapse of me building the entire printer, which is compressed by a factor of 250. So every second you're watching is going to be four, a good four minutes in real time. The entire assembly, not including software setup, calibration, that kind of stuff, took me about 13 and a half hours, which is kind of long for building a 3D printer, but well, I think the result is pretty much worth it. We'll see. Um, I'll be intensively using the Mendel Max 3 within the next few weeks to form an opinion about it. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe, maybe? For now, I'll be leaving you with the time lapse and some classical music. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye.